How's it going guys? Thanks for uh, watching my video. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to tie a Turks head knot and particularly the 5 leave by 4 bite Turks head knot. We're going to use this, I'm going to be using a cardboard tube. This is one of those cardboard tubes you get from like a spool of paracord 300 feet. Um, I use that to practice my knots around. I got about five feet of 550 cord, paracord. This one is pink. Please excuse the color. I figure I use a bright color so you guys can see it easily. And I will be using my Tandy Leathers Jumbo Lacing Needle. You can get it online at tandyleather.com or if you have one in town, they're fairly cheap. They're uh, $2 and change, if that. Um, if you do a lot of weaving, I highly recommend you make this investment. So, let's begin. Leave yourself about a couple inches for your standing end. Lay it across your tube. And you're going to be doing a series of crosses over. So, you want to start from, uh, from left to right. Right to left, over. Come in between, right there. And go over. Alright, now here's where the needle comes into play. You're going to go under here and pull your slack through. Watch out for your twists. It could be a pain in the ass sometimes, but hey, it happens. Alright, so you just went under. Now you want to go over. Okay, here's your cross right there. There's your standing end. So now we are, just went over. We are going to go under alongside your standing end. It's a key note and a good tip when you're tying these knots to try to not tighten them down too much. You want to, uh, you're trying to form a knot so the tightening will come down later obviously so alright moving on. We just went under we're gonna go over two and under one so over, over, under. So over, over, and under. And this is a good example why you don't want to tie too bad, to tie too much right here, is because you're going to create a bite. There's one of your bites. Okay. All right. So you just went under. Now we're going to do the same thing again. Over two, under one. So over, over, under. And. Go under here. Okay. Alright. Stand by. Let me go ahead and fix that real quick. That's looking about right. Alright. Just running every now and then try to keep that straight. Alright. So, we're going to finish off our knot here now. Just went under. We're going to go. Over, under, over, under, over. So, over, under. If you don't drop your tool. So, over, under. Over this one. Under. Okay. And twist. Pull and twist and pull. And there's your bite. And you went over. And technically finishing off the knot, you find yourself alongside the standing end. Um, with this knot, there's different variants. You can search them on Google, uh, YouTube. You can look them in raw, like gifts or books. But uh, there's different variants through different weave patterns that you can create this knot into or you can just double the leads by following your standing end your original working end and you'll double it you can do two passes three passes and it comes out pretty um, another technique with this knot with these knots in particular is you can raise it and I'll, I'm going to demonstrate that, that for you real quick um, so right now what we have is a five lead by one two three four four bite Turks head knot. I'm going to raise it to a seven lead by six bite 
Turks Head Knot. And it goes as follows. You go on along your standing end, follow it. So you want to go over, under. Okay. Then you're going to go over two, under one. Try to try to keep that a little loose. It's gonna help you in the long run. All right. So we just went under one, <coughs> over one, under one. All right. And if it wants to like not twist, that'd be great. There we go. Going. In, there's your standing end. I'm going to move that over a little bit. We're going to do over two, under one. So over, over, under. Don't tighten that too much. That's going to be a bite. Separate these two right here. Those like to pinch together. Over that, under. Operate. Come on now. There you go. So over and under. Alright, and you're going to go same thing to finish off the knot. Over, under. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Under, over, under, over. Pull your slack through. There it is. And again, back along your standing end. You can raise this knot. You can, can you can raise it to as big as as big as you want to go. If you if you really 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 want to take it out more, you can continue to raise it this knot using that technique. Or you can the same thing. You could double the leads and you can tie it off. Um, Stay tuned, and I will actually use this knot, the 7 lead by 6 by Turk's Head knot, and I will show you how to tie a uh, very popular knot called the pineapple knot. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped.